Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome to a FIFA 18 sniping reactions video. This is like the second time I've recorded this introduction and that's because since first doing this, EA went ahead and released a new SBC for Andrea Perlo. As a result, and as you can probably tell by the thumbnail, at the end of this video, we are going to include some SBC Perlo sniping. Now, if you guys do enjoy this video, it would be greatly appreciated if you could smash the like button. Let's see what kind of 1,800 likes. Of course, as you guys all know, every like does give a penguin home, so let's see if we can reach that goal. Additionally, as you guys can see by the banner on the side of the screen, we'll put a link to App Bounty in the description. Get yourself free Microsoft points and PSN codes by using their service. Other than that though, with all out the way, let's go straight into these snipes. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Oh my days, 80,000 coins for Marcus Alonso. This is one hell of a way to start off this video, guys. He is straight fresh out of pack, so someone has listed this up incredibly cheap. He is selling for around 98,000 coins, so close to 100k. After EA tax there, I've probably made around... 12 and a half to 13,000 coins. That is a very nice snipe and an incredible way to start off this video where I'm going to be trying to snipe some of the new Team of the Week cards. Wait. Wait, has that... I'm so confused. Marcus Alonso for 91,000 coins. Just like I previously said, guys, he is selling for 98,000 coins. So, after EA tax on this, I can't even, like a trade, I suppose. You can't even call that a snipe, right? Because I'm sure he had been on the market for around 8 seconds. But regardless, picking him up there for 91,000 coins. After genuinely just comparing his price from the previous snipe. We're going to make a few thousand coins after reselling him on again for around 98k. So... Already within the space of a couple of minutes. I've got two of these cards. And again, this is actually crazy. Sniping Marcus Alonso is very OP right now. This one is actually not fresh. As you can see, he has got a chemistry style. And also been position changed from left wing back to left back. So I'm not sure whether they are going to affect this sell on value or not. But considering we got him sub 90k there. We're still going to make at least 5,000 coins after selling them on. Honestly, this has been a very nice filter and we've made some pretty decent coins from getting Marcus Alonso's. Oh my days. Right, the, the look just continues right here. Again, we've moved on to another card. Got this one at 41,000 coins and I'll go ahead and show you now. Here's around 32,500. That's obviously still got plenty of time remaining. Unfortunately, no decent examples to compare his price here, but we got him at 41k and he's selling for around 48,000 coins. So again, a pretty decent profit margin there. I think I'm trying to snipe him at 43.5k. So considering we've actually got those parameters set up, seeing one at 41,000 is a significant amount under that I am trying to snipe at. So to be honest, a pretty nice snipe. I'm sure we'll be able to flip him fairly quickly and make some decent coins. Oh my lord, this is actually silly. Again, 41,500 coins, right? He has actually got the artist chem style on him, so as you can see, he's actually got five games played. So not, not fresh out of packs, but you never know. Again, chemistry styles can also impact players' prices. I might be able to sell him on easier. Um, like I mentioned, 48,000 coins, current value. So, so far, sniping this card, just like Marcus Alonso, we're actually making a pretty decent profit total. Do you know what? I'm very happy with that snipe as well. 43 and a half thousand coins, so directly on the edge of the parameters we've got set up. And as you can see, not fresh out of packs, could tell that straight away, considering he did have a chemistry style on him. Anyway, we'll go ahead over to the transfer list now, just to update you guys on what we've sold so far. So, Marcus Alonso there, and then also this card, who we have previously sniped two times, selling for 48,000 coins, as I already told you guys, so... Picking that one up there for 43,500 coins, even though it is the most I've paid for one of these so far, we'll still make some pretty decent coins after EA tax. <gasps> Again, another card. This episode has just been insane so far, guys. This is actually the third player that we are attempting to snipe. 
And he's actually the highest rated so far, 85 overall. As you can see, 34, 750. I believe I'm trying to snipe them at around 35, 750. So roughly 1,000 coins under the parameters I've got set up. And the reason that I'm sniping him at this price is because it does sell for around 40k. So again, another decent card here, 85 rated Team of the Week player who will be able to sell on for decent profits. Wait. No way. Orange line. We got the orange line on a 23 case of D-Bay. That's actually the first card that I've missed in this sniping reactions as well, guys. And to be fair, I can't really complain too much because we've had some pretty nice pickups. That again would have just made the episode even sweeter though, to be fair, because that's a pretty decent profit. So as you can see, trying to snipe him at 26 and a half thousand coins. And that's because he is selling closer to 30,000. So considering we just missed him around 7k under, pretty annoying, but we can't really complain as we've already had some incredible snipes. Do you know what? Back on track with a very nice snipe. We just got a pizzy for 23,000 coins. He is fresh as well, straight out of packs, only two owners. 84 rated, I'm not gonna lie for his price, unbelievable card. But you know what? We don't look at stats when we're sniping, we only look at the profit total. And getting him at 23k, he sells for around 28 and a half thousand right now. Roughly around 4k after EA tax. I'm not going to complain. Again, another very nice snipe. And considering we missed our previous one, which was Sadibe, I do believe it's nice to get back on track with a decent trade. No. No way have I actually just missed that. Illich at 18 and a half thousand. Obviously I was sniping him at around 21 and a half K. And that is because, as you can see here, one up at 24, 500. The next close to that probably around 25 K. So at this parameter right now, 25,000 coins by now, there are only two cards available. This is actually what I would be trying to resell him on for. And obviously, that card which we just missed the 18.5k, the percentage profit margin there is huge. And it's really annoying that probably in one of the better snipes of the video, we go ahead and get our second miss. Wait. There is no way I just got an Aldo like that. And it was a decent snipe as well. Let me go ahead and compare his price to you guys. He is selling for around 40,000 coins. This one here actually, which has still got over a minute remaining, 38,250. Which is more than what we just sniped ours at. And again, 45,000 coins. But the reason I'm so shocked is because Naldo has been the hardest card to snipe. And we just got one at 35,500k. And I wasn't even searching. That was genuinely on the first search. I think he was up for a couple of seconds already. And we go and get a fairly decent snipe, to be honest. It's just annoying that I've been sitting here paying full attention to Naldo for the past 10 to 15 minutes, which has actually been one of the largest periods of time spent sniping in this video. And then when I'm not paying attention, we got ourselves a Naldo at decent profits. So then guys, I was literally in the process of editing today's sniping reactions and EA went ahead and dropped a new SBC for Andrea Perlo. As a result, the market just gone crazy and every single Perlo is selling for 10,000 coins. He is popping up very frequently as well for at least 2,000 coins under. You are seeing some for literally 8k profit as well, so I'm gonna go ahead and try and snipe some of them. I just do a bit of live sniping right here after the introduction and show you guys how frequently it's actually popping up. See, we see one already at 7,000 coins. He is genuinely going onto the market every 10 seconds. It's really hard to snipe him though, guys. I'm seeing him a lot, to be fair, but I haven't got one yet. So I've genuinely seen about 20 of them and every single one, like I've mentioned, for decent profit, as I am trying to snipe them, 8K and below. I've even seen some for around 4,000 coins and still being unable to get those cards as well. Here we go again, another one directly on the one hour mark, couldn't even get the bid in time. So obviously a bit of button delay coming into effect there as it didn't even go down onto the buy it now. But regardless of that, even without clicking the down button, I still didn't do the mechanics successfully in time. 
There's so many of them popping up onto the market. I'd love to know if you guys are getting any of them successfully. Please, 8,000 coins. And I couldn't even get onto that one neither, guys. My mechanics are fairly quick here as well. Like I mentioned, not sure whether it is showing old Perlos that have already expired or whether it's just an influx of people trying to snipe this card at the moment. And even though I am seeing these ones, almost on the one hour mark every time, I'm still just unable to successfully get the snipes. Honestly, this is just impossible. In a second, guys, I'm actually going to give up, so I'll do a little bit of an outro. As I try and successfully... 3.4k. As I try and successfully get myself a Perlo. If I would have picked that one up, that would have been ludicrous. But anyway, guys... I really want to know your thoughts in the comment section down below and hear whether you guys have actually been able to snipe a Perlo because as you can see, I'm finding it impossible right now. Um, this is actually going to be at the end of today's sniping reactions video, as did already mention. I was literally editing and I saw this become available, so I had to get on the hype train and try and get myself an Andrea Perlo. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed. As you can see, here's popping up all the time. But yeah, make sure to tweet at me. Some photos of you guys successfully sniping this card. Other than that though, does brings the end. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. I'll let you know. I'll keep you updated as well on Twitter whether I do get one of these pillows. But other than that, make sure to smash the like button. Every like does give a penguin at home. Make sure to subscribe if you're on your round here as well. Hopefully I'll see you guys next time.